Hey everyone, I appreciate your enthusiasm and interest in this little uh, project that I have going on. I've been using the app for quite a bit and come up with some revisions and some of the feedback that uh, you guys have given me. And so I've implemented those into this design and I wanted to share those with you right quick. Alright, so the first thing I did was some of the critical buttons needed more saturation because I have kind of an overall in the Photoshop file an overall layer that kind of mutes the whole interface so it gives it kind of brings it all into one tone but it's a little too heavy on critical buttons so I made some of these more critical buttons more saturated um, whenever I was using the the app quite a bit I noticed I was using the landing gear more than anything and the landing gear is one of these small buttons so I moved the landing gear button to a bigger button so now this a little easier to hit. Um, I was still using F12 to bring up the comms and uh, I thought you know I'm just going to make a button so I made and I'm going to change this because these are too small but I made an, an array of comm buttons up here for future purposes but you know one of them does bring up uh, the chat. That way it gives me one less thing to press on the keyboard. So over on uh, this page, I changed quite a bit on here, um, one of them being this new feature, and I added a thruster uh, slider, um, which works, so if you move this up, it does increase the, it's going to make this, this ship flip because there's a bug, but um, it does increase and decrease the, the thruster, I'll show you on this page. they fix that anyway uh, really really cool this has been fun because I use uh, t16 thousands and uh, that have a slider on that you know I do take my hand off the the stick to adjust throttle so I thought maybe this would be a better cooler way just to integrate it into the app um, and a little bit more precision control actually than the, the slider on the stick um, and then last uh, there was a lot of um, feedback about the eject and self-destruct buttons. Uh, I did have it as one button up here. Now it's a two button press. Uh, you press this button, nothing. Press this button, nothing. But if you press both of them and you have to take your hands off everything too, so you're really committing to this, and which makes it a little more immersive. You take both hands off everything and you have to hold them down and I cruel world. Stuck it. So I hope you like those uh, small updates. I've been using them a little bit, and uh, they seem to be a little bit more user friendly. Um, I've been in contact with uh, the developer of the Lia extended input. And I think he's going to, or she, she's going to implement uh, some of these um, features that I have requested as far as like animated uh, media support because I'm pretty salty with motion graphics and so I think I could really add a lot to this um, button press state support. So whenever you press a button it, and you hold your button down it'll change a different color or animate or whatever once you release it'll animate back things like that will make the a lot more tactile feedback with with the app and hopefully they'll be able to implement that soon and we'll update this thing again um, not quite ready to release it because if I release it it's not gonna be super super user-friendly to to load up um, because there's so many keybinds so I'm trying to figure out a way to make that a little less of a headache what I might end up doing uh, is doing a tutorial on how to use uh, Lia Extended Input. If that's something you guys are interested in, I might just show you how you can design your own uh, button layout and how you kind of get it into the app and, and get it working with Star Citizen. If that's something that you guys might inter be interested in, 
leave comments and uh, that's something I might work on. But anyway, I appreciate uh, all the support. Let me know what you think of this uh, new update and uh, hopefully get it into y'all's hands soon. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.